Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today I'm doing a flip through of my planners for the month of May. Now the final week of May was kind of like half in May and half in June and in my planners that is in June so we've got four weeks of May I want to say and yes I have a boo-boo so <laughs> we're gonna have to deal with the band-aid just gonna have to deal with it all right so in my business planner for May okay I have a random post-it note there in my business planner for May I used the I think this was the Walmart book and I just used colored pens to go with it and this just dictates like just denotes should I say what goes live on this channel and that is how I use that for my regular pages that is this and it's just basically tracking and it's a complete mess but I just basically have started using some of the stickers from here just to add a little bit of color to this so that I actually use it but I love the way that this business planner is working out right now so I am not changing this but there will be some changes to the planner as a whole and I will take you on that journey with me when that eventually does bloody happen. All right and then we have my Franken planner. In here I've got my goals, I've got my catch-all, my wellness and my journal. Currently page, memory keeping and all of that jazz and all that jazz. All right so Goals wise, um, I use the recovery planner and I use it to do my printable for my fly lady. But on here, on the what would be the currently page, they have a goals page. I just wipe this out and then put my own little headers in. I do play, personal, business, house, social, health, and Stella. And again, I like to overcommit myself because that is the kind of personality that I have and I haven't done everything that is on here but this is how I track it. I've probably done 60 to 70 percent. Am I happy with that? No, but I'm hoping as I get more active that this improves. I am getting more active so that is one good thing I suppose. This is my fly lady and we still have one day left so I can still have time to get some of these things done but I am just basically I will say I'm hanging on by the skin of my teeth <laughs> cleaning wise right now because I still can't get down to clean things but I also can't step up to clean high things so <laughs> I'm kind of limited so I'm just basically doing the bare minimum but I want to keep tracking it, so I am. And I'm just gonna put this into June. Sneak peek, this is my June. I just did Minnie Mouse. All right, in my dashboard, this is my currently. I know that the colors don't match this, but I just didn't wanna print out another one, so we're going with it. Um, this is a printable that I do every month, and I do have a video on my channel on how you can make your own in Canva. I will link that here but it's just an easier way for me of doing it and then just print off the whole sheet and put the whole sheet in rather than do all little individual photos and then handwrite all the journaling and all of that jazz so i finished a book book eight of the malazan series and it's it was it was a struggle but i got it done i'm moving on to book nine um we watched dungeons and dragons do not recommend, ne. Carnival Row, I actually am halfway through the finale. Halfway through, I'm hoping to finish that today. Super Mario Brothers, again, ne. Um, I am binge watching Suits. I didn't watch it when it first came out and I'm binge watching the whole series. I think I'm on series five, thoroughly enjoying it. If you have any recommendations for series on Amazon, to watch then let me know in the comments down below because I do have some free time where I'm just having to rest because I do too much so yeah I'm currently watching Suits 
I've rewatched Angel, I've rewatched Buffy. I like supernaturally kind of things. Oh, I rewatched re Grimm. Yeah, so if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below of series that you enjoyed that you think I might enjoy too. The movie that we watched was Renfield. If you haven't seen Renfield, please go and see it. It was amazing, especially if you liked um, Everything Everywhere all at once. It was that same kind of kind of humor. Like it was, ju oh, it was just great. Loved it. Just a picture of Bob and Stella, my bike, my mess in my Zenden of all my bands and everything because blah and. This was my passport photo because we've renewed our passports because they are expiring and we're hoping to go on vacation later this year. So yeah, my monthly did not change much. Um, I think I just added in a couple of little things, but that was my monthly. Yeah, I love this. I love this spread. I love this book. Just love it. I love the color scheme of this. And then we had the... May the 4th be with you, Star Wars spread. This, you loved it, I loved it, I love doing these. And these were the stickers from Hobby Lobby. There's just like a kid's pack of stickers. Again, mix them with, these were from the teacher books. Mix them with something that's neutral and you've got a nice spread. So yeah, I love this spread. I used the heck out of this, as you can see. Yeah, I didn't do the cleaning, but again, the cleaning is a, a struggle right now. So yes, love it. This was for Archery Day, which was on Wednesday, and I used Merida paired with Let Your Heart Wonder and a line. I love this. I didn't need this, but I felt like if I wrote in here, it would just, it would impede the stickers, and I want to preserve the stickers. It's not what the planner is about, but here we are. So yeah, but I used the heck out of this spread as well. And then we come to this one. This was the pressed florals. I love this spread. I actually loved the using the, the markers as the little bullets. Love that, I loved it here. I just didn't use it that much. Overestimating how much I can get done in a week. And then we have my turtle spread, which I loved, but as I put here, holiday weekend, my husband took Friday off, and yeah, from here on, it was basically just, let's just hang on and enjoy the ride, because it was holiday, it was holiday weekend. All right, and then for my wellness planner, we had this, which was my Sanco de Mayo spread that I did from Canva. My plan was that I would come in and jot down what I did, each day in Duolingo, the app that I'm using to learn Spanish. It was funny, I was literally watching Mary Ellen's video um, from Planning with Bumble and she was talking about she was learning Spanish using the same app and I was like, yeah, jinx. But I reached my 100 day streak and yeah, it was, I reached my 100 day streak and then I was like, wait a minute, hang on. That means it's been three months and that's when I figured out that the 28th was 13 weeks since I broke my kneecap. <sighs> Insane. I love this spread. I love how it looks. Again, I do like a full monthly spread when I'm doing a challenge like this. So yes, love it. This was the first week and I used the fitness books. What I've noticed is I'm either all in and I don't have enough room or I barely check it. I, I was tired or, or I barely check it. Um, I did start, I think it was this week, I started walking a couple of times a day and started increasing my movement a bit more. Oh, I had calf cramp. Yeah, I remember that. That was really bad. I had a couple of days of really bad calf cramp. I just found that I was very tired. Like I would walk twice one day but the next day I would be exhausted and I couldn't do anything so and you can see that here like I, yeah I just again it's been a struggle and then we had this week and this was from the monogram challenge and the teacher book this was actually a teacher book and oh this is when I got the new one of the new books from the Hobby Lobby I got like a fitnessy type book from Hobby Lobby because it was on sale and I love this and I think 
I like the the washi, even though these are to do strips clearly. But I liked I like separating AM tracking PM. But that's not going to work because I'm trying to figure out a routine of doing my PT twice a day, getting on the bike, doing my shoulder workout, walking and trying to build up some stamina. That's what I'm looking for, some stamina. But as you can see, I'm doing my steps, tracking my steps along the bottom, and I reached 8,000 steps. That was the most I'd done in weeks, weeks and weeks, like almost three months. So I'm getting stronger. I just overestimate how much I can do. This was for the Nostalgia Challenge. That was the Planable Challenge on Instagram. And I decided to use, I don't remember what book, I think it's called Motivation or something. It's sort of Agenda 52. And I figured there's nothing more nostalgic than vinyl and cassette tapes. Let me know in the comments down below if you were a, a vinyl and cassette tape person because I can remember cassette tapes a lot. <laughs> I started tracking the walking. I started walking three times a day. I got up to 10,000 steps this day. So yeah, I always get in there. I went to PT. That, that day, that PT totally wiped me out. Totally wiped me out. I couldn't, I did, I think I did one walk that day. Yeah, I couldn't do anything else that day. And then we have this one. This was for the A to Z planner themes, Sunshiny Days. And I used the seasonal and showed you how to make a little insert for a gratitude list. And I just shut that in there. And again, tired, tired, tired. And holiday weekend. 11,000 steps, 10,000 steps, 9,000 steps. I'm increasing my steps, but boy, it is exhausting exhausting and I did miss a couple of days of PT here because again exhausted exhausted when I'm so tired and my my knee hurts I don't do the PT I do the bare minimum of things that I can do because I need to ice it and make sure it's okay <laughs> make it kind of baby it all right and then we're going to go into my decorative journal I wasn't using the monthly for my decorative journal. I am starting to use that now for my decorative journal. But this was the spread that I did using those weird, like, I'm going to call it like the, the circles, but they're colored. And then the background, I just used the bleed. If you can see that. But yeah, I have a video about that. I'll link it here of how you can make your own little kind of decorative aspect. But yeah, and then I just came in with pen on here. I actually made a boo-boo. You can probably see underneath here. I started using a pen that I thought was a good match for this green. It ended up not being a good match and I had to put a white circle over it. So yeah, a couple of these have white circles over them because you make mistakes, you know? But I love this. This is how I like my decorative journals to look very full and, oh, there we go. Now you can see. There is, there is something there. There is, there is a quote that you just can't see because of the glare, because of the foil. Um, but yeah, that was the first week and I love it. The second week I used the Happy Life and this was basically like a self-challenge to use like scraps and stuff like that because there wasn't much of that book left and there still isn't, but I'm like eking out every little last bit and I just paired it with like the bleed from some of the boxes and then some stuff from the quote book and then this one as you might remember I did a little kind of show and tell video of how I decide what pens I'm going to use whether it's going to be black or colors or something like that again I will link it here somewhere and I love how this one looks in the end and I'm really glad that I used some of the the alpha letters. I don't use alphabet letters enough. And then since here, since this, I've used them quite a lot. So again, once you start doing something and you get into it, it becomes like a habit. So yes, I, I am fully on board with that. This was for B-Day. 
and I used the, I think it's Agenda 52, but I can't remember what the book's called. But if you go back in my videos, there is a video about this. And again, I was unsure what pen to use, but I think the blue is the right choice. I think the blue is the right choice. And I used some of the alphabets from the seasonal book that I used here in the video just to add some quotes, but it's part of the journaling. So yeah, but I love this. I love it. And then we have this one, which was the Ursula spread. Now I've put these here because the journaling is kind of private, but yeah, I love this. I love this so much, but it's a nice contrast from these to this where it's all in black. So again, I've got green and purple, all of the colors, blue, and then black. And what I did for this one was I used my very fine, my very fine, not this one, but the um, 0.38 Pilot G2 and the Fidena Suke brush pen. And then just did like some of it in bold, bolded. But I love this. Again, sorry, I can't show you this bit because that is personal. But yeah, love it. And that is my planners after the pen for May. I hope this just showed you how they, you know, they look after the pen. Sometimes I don't get into my planners every day. That's just life, especially when there's a holiday or I'm exhausted, which is pretty much every couple of days right now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye!